Hello everyone, Alessandro de Crypto here and welcome to this Bitcoin price update. We are seeing a little recovery. We're going to have a look what is going on with the Bitcoin price and overall the crypto market. What is my own opinion, of course. And as usual, guys, I'm currently here in Taormina enjoying this nice view over here. I'm currently sitting in Taormina with a view over Isola Bella. This is like this little island can see here this very historical old island where people go here to the beach and they cross here over the water to walk over into this nice little island maybe one day it's going to be a crypto island who knows that but until then it's just a normal island I'm enjoying here this cappuccino I hope that you also gonna have a great summer guys and are enjoying this very hot weather wherever you are in the world here in Italy it is insane hot but um, I'm trying to do my best of course to update you every day whatever the weather condition is whether wherever I am especially during these volatile times I know it's very hard when you see like your portfolio dropping like crazy here to the downside and everything is in red but at least right now we are seeing a little recovery so the question is only where this recovery will take us and also what is going on here because you can see in the four hour time frame, we are currently reclimbing back to this important resistance that we have short term, the median line of the Kelton channels right here at 57K. If we break this resistance that we're fighting with right now, then it's very likely that Bitcoin is gonna have a big shoot up straight towards the 62 to 63K area to retest the 200 moving average in the four hour. And of course this previous uh, support and uh, resistance, now new resistance point at around 62 to 63K. So in the four hour time frame, yes, this bounce and this breather is going on right now. As I also told you yesterday, guys, it is possible that we're going to have a big bounce, but that bounce doesn't mean that we immediately going to continue the bull run because we still have those warning signs in the in the monthly time frame, like in the bigger time frames. And if I can try, yeah, now if I can pull up here the indicators, you can see that money flow here is still uh, negative in the four hour time frame. This is, uh, of course, a bearish sign. Um, so if this move um, will go on for a very long time, we don't know that yet. But at least for now we're fighting with it and it looks like the Bitcoin wants to retest like the 62 to 63k area. Let me also quickly recheck the CME chart. Because that gap is up to, yeah, basically around 63k. It's up here as you can see. We have here a big trading gap between 63k and 58k. That was the old gap. I think we can delete this uh, line here. We don't need that anymore because the gap is now up to 63K. So it is possible that eventually before we had lower that we're gonna come up to close that gap. That is of course uh, perfectly fine and still in our trading range right now. If we go above that, then of course the things will look more bullish because then we have the chance um, to have again a full, um, basically a full range pump into our main resistance, which is up here at 70K. This is where we also got rejected with the last uh, big move from basically here 54k to 70k and uh, right now again we came back down to the main support here on the daily although we have the media line of the calton channels here at around 63k so this is going to be a very very important um, resistance now for bitcoin it needs to get broken and i'm pretty confident that we're gonna get that bounce because if we have a look into the indicators also here on the daily let me see if i can pull it up in any case, yeah, here you see that we are about to print the buy signal very, very soon. And that buy signal will most likely lead into that pump towards here. The, um, it's a bit too small to see, but as I can open it up here, I can show it better to you. Yes, you can see here, if we zoom in, that here we have the median line of the Calden channels, the 200 moving average and many others uh, moving averages all at around 62 to 63k. That's why this is the target for now short term guys. If you're trading along you can do that. If you want a new exchange that I'm using and if you want to get some nice bonuses, sign up bonuses then go to 2bit. The link is in the video description right at the top because here you can get up to 10,000 almost $10,000 in bonuses if you use my link. And here you can basically trade everything, Bitcoin, altcoins, with a very low trading fee. And also, 
you have very high security and liquidity doesn't matter if you're trading on spot or with futures so check it out guys you can even do copy trading and so on so 2bit is a nice exchange to use the link is in the video description and uh, it's always good to diversify into several exchanges and um, 2bit in my opinion is one that you should use it's here since quite some time and um, it's very important that you always use uh, exchanges with high liquidity and high security because like that also you can make uh, bigger trades now if we return to bitcoin and if we open up the the weekly time frame you can see that right now we're trading below the 20 weekly moving average right here at around 63 to 65k so in theory as long as we don't have weekly closes above the 20 weekly moving average this is a big warning sign that we are most likely at the beginning of a bear market or bigger corrective bigger corrective phase and this is of course also perfect in alignment with the monthly time frame which is trading below the top side of the calendar channels currently at around 70k even if bitcoin would rally all the way up to 70k we still can get rejected there in the bigger time frames so that's why even if we see here a full retracement from support up to resistance here this wouldn't change much on the trend or at least um, uh, short term but um, yeah as I told you guys in the monthly time frame we are looking quite um, bearish in my opinion right now everything is very overbought and shifted to the downside right now and uh, this month of August will also decide if we're gonna have here a bearish cross in my confirmation indicator here because if that happens then I think um, we have the last um, basically proof that we are about to see more correction phases uh, and more downside in the next coming months until we recover and in that case the target could be not only mm -hmm. here 47 uh, K because 47 thousand dollars is almost reached but then I think we most likely even go lower than that I mean worst case is down here at around 33 K I don't expect that but um, everything of course is uh, possible if those sell signals are playing out I don't know what will be the narrative but at least the monthly time frame for now is looking extremely weak and dangerous for the next coming months we can still save it of course but as long as things are keeping like that the monthly time frame uh, i don't expect that the lower time frames um, um will have like significant big rallies that's why even if we see here a big pump even if we see here a big pump in the four hour and daily time frame um, those rallies will fail if the monthly uh, sell signals will continue to look like that that's why in theory in those cases it's better to short the rallies and not try to catch longs and not try to catch the breeders because that is very difficult and also you have less uh, performance so let's see what will happen in the next coming days at least for now the bounce at least towards 62 to 63 k is very likely sign up to 2bit as well if you want to trade the bitcoin and all coins and um, if you're looking for new meme coins because currently we have winner ai pumping like crazy guys congratulations to everyone that bought it before it came out on dexas winner ai this new meme coin pumped like crazy uh, is now still pumping it keeps pumping we have a very great performance over there and the next ones will be Shiba Shootout, the one that you see in this advertisement down here, and Pepe Unchained. Both links to those websites, to those new meme tokens that are coming out in the next coming weeks, you find in the video description. Go to the official links, don't just randomly Google them, because then you get maybe to a wrong website. Go to the official one, they are in the video description, and Pepe also, they have raised more than 7.4 millions already in just a matter of a few days so this one is really selling off very very quickly guys and that's why if you're looking for new meme coins that are upcoming uh, that are yet not listed out on exchanges and especially are not uh, um, like volatile like other meme coins and altcoins on exchanges then you have to buy them before they're coming out on exchanges directly on the website of the developers that you can find of course uh, in the video description and Pepe Unchained is the most hyped one right now everyone is waiting for this and uh, otherwise also Shiba Shootout is a good one they they are very low market cap below 1 million but they already have a game that you can play and an in-game token and that's why I think Shiba Shootout is also a good bet for this run. Alright guys, that's it for now. I hope that you like this uh, update video and uh, can still a bit enjoy this nice uh, footage that we have here over in uh, Taormina. Today we will uh, move on towards the uh, next village where we're gonna stay like for more than two weeks and uh, yeah, we're gonna leave this nice place. Later on we also are going to an island, uh, Vulcano, which is like a real volcano island, only a volcano, where there is like two or three hotels and that's it there. 
is also going to be fun. But that's it for now guys, thank you for watching, have a great one, be subscribed here, I always update you and uh, sign up to Tubit and of course check out all new meme coins that are upcoming, they are performing very very well, not all of them of course, but most of them they are performing very well, especially when we see a big breather or a big bounce in the crypto market, they are performing like hell because they are extremely low market cap. So congratulations to everyone that bought Wiener AI, we can take some profits now, this pumped like crazy. Maybe it's also going to continue to pump like crazy, who knows that. But um, if you're looking for the next ones, 99 Bitcoins is coming out tomorrow. You cannot buy that anymore as well. Winner AI, you still can buy it on the website. It's also linked in the video description. And um, But there we already have seen the pump. But if you want to buy the ones that are not yet pumped like crazy, then Pepe Unchained and Shiba Shootout is definitely something that you should keep an eye on. And of course, also just buy any, an amount that you're willing to lose to diversify into new meme coins as well. So thank you for watching, guys. Yeah, my camera is too hot or my... Okay, I cannot open up anymore the camera. I salute you guys. Thank you for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye for now.